Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 15 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, holy professional record. 16 wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Huh. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. You can touch gloves at this time if you wish. Let's do it. Man, they have been on each other's nerves for weeks. It has just escalated throughout the week. We're about to hit the climax. This fight between Poirier and McGregor. Here we go! White trunks for the wow. very entertaining Conor McGregor. Immediately, McGregor opens up with a hook kick. Yes, yeah, southpaw, southpaw, Spinning back nice. kick to the body. And again, Poirier has the most wins and most finishes in UFC featherweight history. Nice leg kick by Poirier. The Americans getting behind Dustin Poirier. Nice kick. McGregor looking for the combination. Uniquely effective with his hands. He's so loose. Yeah. Even, you know, like a high profile fight like this, look how relaxed he is in there. He was supposed to fight Cole Miller. Diego Brandau stepped up. Connor wanted Dustin Poirier to fight in Ireland. Well, you know what? That's the end of that storyline. He's here standing in front of him tonight. Another nice leg kick by Poirier. Ooh, good left hand by Connor. Oh! Good shot there by Poirier. And another shot that lands for McGregor. Joe Connor McGregor said he's really worked on his kicks for this fight. Oh, he tagged him in yeah. the left, Mike. He heard and him. up top. He hurt Poirier with that left. He's very good at utilizing all of his reach, turning that shoulder, fighting long. 90 seconds in. Right in front of him. He's talking to him now. Oh, yeah. Hands at his hips, having oh, a conversation, looking to finish the fight. That's it. It it's is over. all over. Just like that. Wow. That's the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake about it. Conor McGregor is for real. An entire country is standing on their feet right now. And he really did just make it look easy. He said he would make it look easy. He made it look easy. That's the real deal. He said, first round KO, mark my words. All right, Conor, we believe you. I mean, that was just glorious. It's the way he did that. No one's ever done that to Poirier before. Poirier is protesting it, but it was an absolutely legitimate stoppage. He was out. Man. I mean, he, Poirier's still on wobbly legs. He's still having a hard time standing up here. Look, he's leaning forward, pitching forward and back. McGregor's the real deal, man. There's no doubt about it. It looks like he grazed him with that. There's hammer fists. There's a left. There's another left that hurt him. That that was hard to see what that was. It looked like he threw a punch and he grazed him. Let's see. Let's see this. It clipped him right behind the ear. And there's a hammer fist to the ear. And there's a punch and another punch to the jaw. I think what Poirier is trying to say was that it was behind the ear, or that it was behind the head, but it looked like a legitimate punch. I mean, it w wasn't like he was 
a downed opponent that he was right. trying to hit behind the head. It was just a punch that was thrown while Poirier was moving that caught him behind the ear. And that we've seen that before, like a Randy Couture Brock Lesnar. Or like a head kick. A yes. lot of head kicks land in the back of the head. Absolutely. That, that was a legit shot. And he was dominating the fight up until that moment. Four straight now for Conor McGregor. Dennis Bermudez, winner of seven straight fights in the UFC's featherweight division. The champion six, his future challenger five. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the notorious Conor McGregor! I'm here with the winner, Conor McGregor. Conor. The entire country of Ireland is shut down for this. I don't know if you realize this. Dana White was telling me before this fight that everyone in Ireland is anticipating this fight. What, what have you done to get people so excited? We've tried to figure it out. I can't figure it out. You're spectacular in your victories, but there's something else. I, I, don't, just, uh, I don't just knock them out. I picked the round. You came out, there was a lot of pressure on you because of the trash talk, because of all the, the, the going back and forth, but you looked very loose coming into this fight. Yeah, I felt, I felt really good. I, I tore my ligaments in my tomb uh, four weeks ago, so I couldn't do, I had to disrupt my training a lot. I had to just run and kick a lot. But uh, I wanted to come in here and put on a performance, and I knew these featherweights don't understand. Until they get hit by me, it's a whole lot of ball game when they get hit by me. So I said I'd knock him out in the first round, and I knocked him out in the first round. You can call me Mystic Mac because I predict these things. You said coming into this fight that his movement was basic. What, what did you mean by that? Uh, I just find that a lot of um, uh, mixed martial arts, mar uh, mixed martial artists get into like a rut of coming out with that Thai boxing flat-footed style. You, against a guy like me that's in and out and lighting his feet and the angles are different. Uh, it's, it's the old age, this is the new age. I wanted to come over here to America and show the American public the new era of the fighting Irish. And I brought my whole country with me. We don't, if one of us go to war, we all go to war. 10% of all the tickets sold in Vegas came from Ireland, you should know that. And take a look at the new age in action on the big screen right now. You clipped him with this left hand, but before you did that, you landed quite a few spinning back kicks. You were just very loose and relaxed in there, and you were connecting almost at will. Yeah, you know, you can't, the chin doesn't recover. I, I said it about him, he took some big shots in his career. The chin doesn't recover. You know, I, I know Dustin's a great guy, and he came in fitter than he's ever came in. This was as focused as he's ever been. But again, when featherweights get hit by me, it's a whole different ball game. So that's, that's it. Well, this was a huge victory for you. This is your first victory over a top 10 contender. What's next? You know what's next. That world title is next. I'm going to fly to Brazil, and if they want, if they want, I'll eliminate Chad Mini Mendes and step in and give the fans what they want. Aldo versus McGregor. Or you know we could come back and do that football stadium, bring the Brazilians over. We'll whoop them on home, home soil or away soil. It's no problem. Congratulations, sir. It was a pleasure watching you perform tonight. Conor McGregor, ladies and gentlemen.